Hey everyone, welcome to Collector Chatter. This is episode 68. I'm your host, Migs, here, my co host, Charlie. As always, we're back again with another great episode. We have a ton of Funko news, a lot of stuff in the last couple of weeks that we want to talk about that we are really excited for. Can't wait to get into it. And if you're listening to the podcast platform, do us a favor and follow us. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All right. With that being said, let's chat. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have another episode full of some awesome Funko news. Uh, a lot of stuff dropped. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, we took an extra week off, and then it's my birthday recently. So but we're back. Uh, we're here to talk about you know, what's coming out, the latest stuff, and we'll get right into it because we got a lot of stuff. It's going to be jam packed. Uh, so, Charlie, you can start us off uh, yeah. with something in the news. What do you think? Well, I'm pretty pumped for is all the turtle stuff we're getting um okay. definitely anticipation for the new movie mutant mayhem and we got some leaked um bot like art of pops from the back of the box but you can already pre-order the two target exclusives which um we got a 10 inch leo and we also got the turtle van with leo in it and they're both target exclusives i think these look awesome i love the look of this movie and um you know they're yeah trying the color scheme of what the movie's going to look like they've kind of, they've definitely incorporated in the pop so i'm definitely a fan of this line what do you think? yeah yeah the, the the way the artwork and everything is sick of the actual movie which is super cool i think that was like one of the main reasons why i was such a big fan of like uh, you know it's a little different but into the spider verse and stuff yep. just because of like that style and the comic book cartoony very bright colors so like that was really cool and this is awesome too because it literally looks like they're like moving a little odd because it's like they're coming off of paper almost it's like really yeah. weird to describe but it's awesome um but like you said yeah line obviously makes sense that they're gonna do it there's probably gonna be tons of merchandise for this uh and it's cool that we're getting you know some pops in this line um uh, but yeah ninja turtles in general has kind of been out in the news because you know i guess i'll say this one too uh there was a black like casey jones yeah. That uh, dropped, which is super cool because we didn't get any pop wise. We haven't gotten any Ninja Turtles in the black light. Obviously, we do have them in soda form, um, but it's cool to see that we're going to get so at least right now we got Casey Jones, and I guess we'll see. I mean, I would assume we're going to get the Turtles, but who knows? Uh, but yeah, I thought that one was a pretty awesome. And it just like looks like certain ones. I'm I'm starting to like, yeah, really I'm over the black lights because there's so many of them. But I just love them in general and and they've been coming out with like really good ones i think it started off really good then we had like a batch of just nonsense and now we're getting back to getting some good ones so i, I mean don't know i completely agree one. with you totally i mean i'm t i'm definitely gonna try to collect the turtle ones when the casey jones when i saw i'm like this is awesome and they do lend well to black light but yeah i'm they've outdone it there's even more that they've, they've announced that i know we'll talk about later in the episode which those look mm -hmm. cool too but at what point is this just like not a thing anymore? I feel like we need to move on from Blacklight, unless it's a very, very special reason <laughs> for it, if that even makes sense. But I mean, I agree. But yeah, they'll they'll be around, I'm sure. <laughs> Which I mean, I was going to go right into that with the Blacklight though, because I found this one to be super interesting, even though I'm pumped for it. And we have a lot to say about it. They're coming out with new Mickey and Minnie sodas, which they're numbered ones, which I feel like we haven't been getting a lot of announcements of sodas that much recently. I mean, we'll yeah. have a few to talk about this episode, but it seems to have slowed down, which is interesting. But the commons are normal colored, and then the chases are black light, which totally random i don't get it and i know you had mentioned this to me like when we were just talking like we still don't have a normal mickey and mini soda why can't we just get that yeah there's got to be a reason it's just odd i think majority of the disney ones especially the old g ones they don't do it we've talked about it a yeah. ton of times like obviously we got like the clarabelle cow one out of nowhere which is random but like some of these like like 
come on, Mickey, Donald, like the basic ones. But I mean, we do have Mickey sodas, even though they're like literally always Mickey as something, which, yeah. you know, is a thing that Mickey was always known for. He's obviously always been multiple characters, um, but we never had a mini at all. So at least we're getting a mini. So it's like the first one. But yeah, they're beach Mickey and beach mini basically is what they are. And they're like beached out. But I was we like, you know, we spoke on the side and I said, like, I don't mind that they do that. But like they should have the regular Mickey and then the chase be like beach Mickey or have it be beach Mickey and the chase is just regular Mickey or whatever it is. Like, yeah, that'd be awesome. I would just kind of be more yeah enticing. And then being blacklight is just super random. And like, I don't know, it's it's I, like, I don't love it. I feel like I kind of would want it because it's Mickey and Minnie, but I'm not like excited for it as much as I think I could have been. And it is a Funko Shop exclusive. So like you said, they are numbered, but I don't see, I see them sitting though. Sodas kind of in general have not been like hot sellers. I feel like lately, like nothing's really selling out. Agreed. Like you could still literally to this day go on Gemini and get like tons of different sodas that at some point and they have even clearance sales and stuff. So yeah. like it's definitely died down, but it's true. Like you said, the announcements have even slowed down. Like, we're not getting batches of six to eight numbered sodas anymore. We're getting yeah. either those runs of not numbered or one or two here and there that are, like, numbered. So, a little, um, little weak on, like, the execution of it, but it's cool that we got them. Like, you know, we can't yeah. get the character um, for what it is. But, uh, so going off of that, so let's see what else we got. Um, I want to talk about this because I thought this was awesome. Uh, Funko does a lot of sports special things for events and during games and the giveaways and stuff. And they, obviously their local team is Seattle. So, you know, they do the, the aqua stock stuff for the minor leagues. And then they always, you know, do certain things for the Mariners and for the Mariners, there was actually two recently announced. Um, we got a Julio Rodriguez and the JP Crawford. Um, both of these are those style where you're getting three pops of the same character that you you can, I don't know if they're at random or what, but they're all given out in the same day. So it's kind of interesting. I think it's whatever. I know they, one's like less numbered, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. I, I don't know rare. this for a fact. And if anyone does, you know, let us know in the comments. But I believe like you get handed one when you come to the game and it, you get what you get. Yeah. That's, so how that's it works, interesting. Which is kind of cool. And I do it. It is cool, especially if you don't even know that you're, like, you're just going to grab them. A lot of these events, a lot of times people aren't collectors necessarily, um, but if they're a fan of the team, I'm sure they still think it's cool. So, you know, there's obviously one in just like the white jersey, and then they have like that alternate blue jersey, and then there's the ones that are all gold, which we've obviously seen, seen that with Ken Griffey Jr. I think maybe even Ichiro has. So a lot of other like big players have they've done this. So now we're getting kind of like two of their newer young guys. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. I think more teams should definitely do this. I know the Red Sox did it, I think, with Pedro Martinez, but that's about it besides the Mariners. I don't know yeah. that I can think of. No, I, I I mean, we say this all the time. I feel like sports teams should be doing this more in general. Just mm -hmm. like it is interesting, though. I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, but the Mets recently did a handmade by robots oh, yeah. giveaway. Um, which I mean, I thought it was super cool out of the box. Like, I mean, it's still an awesome collectible, which we've talked about on the podcast before. They actually did one for Mrs. Met and Mr. Met. And it seems like mm -hmm. that's what's there isn't a Funko giveaway on their calendar this year. I mean, that could always change, but I know last year it was because I was a hot commodity for myself. And I know we both ultimately got the David Wright one, mm -hmm. but. Teams just, they should be doing this more. I don't know. Funko should just be like the bobbleheads, which I know are like classic for sports games, especially baseball. They just don't hit the mark anymore. Like they, they look yeah. cheap where like yeah, at that, least Funko the, does. They it. definitely look cheap. Yeah, that's true. And they normally have some like crappy sponsor on it, which then makes it look even worse. Like even though like the handmaids by robots, for example, they were sp sponsored to by a company for that day with handmade by robots but they didn't put that on the box oh, okay yeah i i agree though that they're usually like it's a very i mean if we're talking of all sports the one that would make the most sense that does this still to this day is baseball because baseball is such an old old school sport there even yeah. though nowadays the rules and a lot of stuff have changed 
you would think some of these things would change too because bobbleheads, yeah, are very throwback. Um, but I don't mind bobbleheads. They usually kind of look cool, but it's, it is the detail in them isn't the best. Um, however, at least with the Yankees, I know specifically, they have done a lot of like special versions. So like the most recent one actually was Anthony Rizzo as Mandalorian. Yes. So like that was the bobblehead that they came out with. So like they've kind of been doing, and I was like for Star Wars and whatever. And they've obviously changed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, like get Funko Pops. Like they definitely could figure that out. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming bobbleheads are probably a lot cheaper for them. Who knows? But yeah, um, I think it would be a better, you know, better thing. And they do it once in a while, but like it should be something that's a little bit more often every year, at least um, with different teams. Completely agree. Um, another thing going off of that sports, but fake sports, um, they came out with, uh, Ted Lasso, Roy Kent, WB shop exclusive, which funny, we still have not gotten the main line for Ted Lasso, like the common line. They kind of, they teased it at one of their events. I think just recently this week, you know, dish trackers was like, these are coming. I still haven't put them up for pre-order. The only ones you can actually get are the Con Ted Lasso, the Con Coach Beard, and then they've come out with sodas. But mm-hmm. this one, like, I love this show. Like, I recommend the show to everybody. I know at this point it's became a culture phenomenon, but I'm like an OG. Like, I would say this is probably one of my all-time favorite shows. And this pop is sick. It's my favorite character. But one thing I'm really curious to test out if this will happen, which I've complained about in the past, like this is ridiculously expensive to get from WB Shop. The pop itself is oh, eighteen, yeah. like I think almost eighteen bucks. The ship it's ten dollars. I need this for my collection, but I'm not going to pre-order it because I'm hoping this comes to the Funko Shop, um, like they did that time when I talked about when I pre-ordered that Star Trek Wrath of Khan pop for no reason oh, yeah. for it to come out on Funko Shop for cheaper. So I'm hoping that happens. But I was super excited for this pop. Yeah, that's so true. That like exactly what you said ended up happening. So who knows? Hopefully, it does again. I could see it probably if they don't sell, especially if it's at that price point and not everyone's going after it. Yeah, then maybe maybe it'll move over to Funko Shop. But um, still cool that they're at least you know doing these exclusives through other like sites and stuff. Like it's it's nice to see that. Um, but like yeah, that whole price increase doesn't doesn't make sense. Like just no. Make it make it what standard exclusive even you know is so. Um, we also had uh, some interesting news with some movie posters. So a couple things. Well, one we have an announcement of a new one. So Indiana Jones, uh, yeah. I think it's the Raiders of the Last Ark one, right? Yep. Um, so that movie poster uh, was announced. That's so going to be a new one coming out. Obviously, we've talked about this before. Indiana Jones has a pretty big line, a big wave of some of like the new ones and OG stuff. Like a lot of stuff has just kind of been coming out at the same time now um, with the like new movie coming out. Uh, but then along the other lines with some of the older movie posters, they're now popping up on sale at Amazon. They're not like a crazy sale, maybe 10, 15 bucks yeah. or whatever, you know, off. Um, but it is a sign of something that we've kind of mentioned where like these things, one, they're enormous. So not everyone's going to be going after these uh, price points have been pretty high. Uh, for this obviously because it's a big piece um but i see them getting even cheaper i think at some point like these are the things that you know are just going to be sitting around and it's not for everyone so i see them probably going back in even a cheaper sale maybe at some point um i don't see really funko doing that funko will ride it to to the end with trying to get the most that they can out of it uh but like the amazons of the world and like walmart's places like that i'm sure uh, don't mind you know getting these price decreases and see what you but it's interesting to see because i know you were kind of you know was questioning getting the star wars one and i saw that was one of the ones that was discounted yeah. so i don't know if you're gonna try to grab it or you're gonna wait a little like i don't know i know i really want because i want the indiana jones ones too i it's funny i mean i've said this in the past like i do really like this line but yeah they are overpriced um i have a couple in my collection i've never paid full price for them and like you said like the price on Funko is ridiculous. I think these are $70 yeah, on Funko. Like super high. Which, like, that isn't even the the full retail price on, like, an Amazon or Target. Like, they've never made them that expensive. Oh, really? 
Yeah, yeah. that's even worse. I, yeah, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, we go back and forth. Like, I hate saying this because, like, Funko's direct to the source, but unless I'm buying, like, a Funko shop exclusive, I feel like everything is more money from their site. Yeah. Commons are, I guess, the same, but, like, when it's ever, like, a special pop like the movie posters a pop deluxe like i feel like they're always more money there yeah even like 10 inches i feel like or the 18 inches like sometimes they're higher priced than a lot of other places so yeah it's wild yeah i don't know but i mean it's interesting to see that but you know i wonder how far this line is going to continue to go because they still do keep coming out with more so it's interesting that they're they're still pumping out you know, unless these were already all in production, you know, because they probably were all in production. Because yeah. also, it's just so funny, though, too. Like, speaking of the Indiana Jones, I noticed they still haven't announced officially the Dial of Destiny Pops, which is the new movie. But I think Dish Trackers already has them. Posted a picture of them. Which is just... <laughs> really? Well, I was going <laughs> to yeah. say, because I know they, like, leaked or announced or whatever. Yeah. But... Like, some people already have... realized because... they weren't actually out. One thing that's super weird about it is they have their own sticker. I don't know if you've seen an image of these. Like they have like an Indiana Jones like Dial of Destiny sticker, which I'm assuming the bo- I wonder if the box art doesn't say it. I haven't been able to examine it that closely, or if they like made these before they knew what the title was, and that's why they put a sticker on it. It's just unlike anything I've ever seen before. That is interesting. There was a pop. Oh, now I'm like drawing a blank on what it was. But there was a pop that I was looking at, I think on whatnot, because uh, I just remembered that it had dropped a while ago. And it was something I was like interested in. What was it? And I remember taking a look. And when I found it, there was like a, it had like a silver sticker, like okay. along. It kind of like, um, like, you know how when you get like the MLB ones, they have yep. the MLB like silver circle like, yep. with the baseball. It was like that, but it was like a, a long ways and then a bigger, oh man, what was it though? But it was like odd because when the first one I saw, I thought, oh, maybe this person got it with like like a QR stick, some sticker that was like on it, like yeah. they bought it at like Walmart, for instance, something like that. But then everybody's had that. Like, oh my God, I got to figure it out. I'm going to think about it while, while we're going through this to see what it was because it's going to piss me off that I don't know what it was. But I thought it was odd. It like It just like kind of ruined it. It wasn't like a nice sticker. That you know, you're like, oh, that's cool. That's exclusive with a sticker. It was something like really odd. I forgot what it was. I mean, but. speaking of exclusive stickers, though, too, they um, Funko had just this past week dropped their exclusive um, Batman Beyond pop, which actually was a yes. Zavi exclusive, which they ended up having to cancel all those people's orders because they're no longer selling Funko pops. And now mm-hmm. they took it over, which is interesting. Were the stickers never actually put on those boxes? Did they put this sticker over it? Did they actually peel the stickers off? I just find it interesting because I actually do have like a Zabby. I didn't realize that was Zabby. I forgot. Um, yeah, and then this one had has its chase, which in the beginning you were limited to, and then after like 24 hours, they I think they upped it to like 10. So clearly, yeah. like going back to before, like not much sells out anymore. It's really hard. Like I mean, it's still up, right? On Funko, it's still up. Honestly, the I only we both kind of waited. Like I want it, I like it, but I was like, maybe I'll wait. And it really still is. Sitting Honestly, there. I've been waiting. I've become That's like way more selective than I've been in the past, just because mm-hmm. you know we say it all the time. But they're actually now having a Father's Day sale, which like some brand new stuff is already on sale, up to thirty percent off. We you uh-huh. should, like some good stuff. Like yeah, I've been so wanting, look. like I haven't gotten in the Mickey um, 25th anniversary tin and yep. I've gotten all of them. Same. It's on sale. So like, it's funny. Same. The only thing as of late that is sold out, which I find to be hilarious, maybe because it's so cheap was that Freddie Funko candy holder that like finally oh, did came it. out. It sold out, which is, uh, I feel like that's well, like the last true sellout besides an anime popper. Well, Wednesday. one odd one, which I mentioned to you, it wasn't exclusive. It was just a regular common, was the Yellowstone one. Oh, yeah, I know. Remember I told you that? Yeah. So uh, Yellowstone, I know we talked about the line and how it came out. Um, I ended up grabbing it. I actually just got it today, the box. <laughs> it has a couple sodas and then the Yellowstone ones. So I ended up grabbing that, and it was like, 
I didn't get the only one I didn't get was the only one that was sold out, and it was the girlfriend. I always forget her name. Yeah, um, Casey's wife. But yeah, Casey's wife, and it's so, it was sold out. Like literally said sold out. They weren't like limited number. They weren't exclusive or anything. The only one that was exclusive was obviously the one that was the freaking cooler, which was like so ridiculous looking, <laughs> um, of rip, and. I ended up grabbing that one anyway. So I'm like, why well, I get the common, you know, might as well just get that one. It's cooler. But, um, but yeah, hers was sold out. And that was so odd. I'm telling you, I was like, dude, I remember we were trashing it. We're like, why yeah. is this even one of the pops? Why would it? And it, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I feel like they have it in there on purpose. Or yeah, they just put less out there. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, I found that out with the pop list. So it's a, uh, it's a Lionel Messi one. Oh, so it's which, like- so. So it has a PSG sticker on it, basically. Like, you know, like the, it says like the official Paris, you know, yeah. um, St. Germain like thing. But then it says Funko figurine. And then that is connected. I'll show you here to a QR code. I have and that pop and I don't have that on mine. No, everyone no. that they're selling has this. Well, at least on one now. And I'm talking about one, two, three. Four, five, five, six people have it. Seven. No, everyone that's on here. Eight, nine. There's nine posts. And they that's all weird. have a sticker on it. And you don't have that sticker? No. That is so odd. Yeah, it's literally on every single one. And it's it like 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 I said, the silver stickers, you know, like okay, on this one you could see a little better. It's um it's like the little, you know, Eiffel Tower. See it in the middle? Yep circle and it's like their their like their shield like their logo but then it says like funko lc figurine and then it has that qr code yeah i have really odd because no pops have that that i I can think of mine has just like their logo and a sticker that's like silver okay so it just doesn't have that little tag going or a qr code it's the qr code yeah so i thought it was weird but yeah i was looking at that because my freaking Amazon order that I made just never it just yeah. got like canceled essentially. It just and he's started. leaving there, so yeah, I know. So even more so um reason to try to get it. But um uh I was gonna say, yeah, I was definitely excited for that Batman Beyond. I just I just same thing, I didn't grab it. So maybe now that there's that little bit of a sale and I'll see if I can get a cart or get some stuff together, I may look into into grabbing that. Um uh, but it was about this. This is pretty cool. So there's a Jurassic Park uh, Amber yep. T Rex, which is like an exclusive, which is pretty awesome. I mean, you think of like that whole the movie and the and you know the whole thing inside yeah. the, inside the Ember and everything. So I was like, that was cool. That like it makes sense. It looks like really good. The color looks awesome, and it's interesting. It's definitely something unique and a nice like thinking outside the box kind of a thing for them. Obviously, Jurassic Park is a pretty big line for them. They've come out with a lot of stuff, especially lately again, um, when it just came back around again with more stuff. So, yeah, I thought that one was uh, an interesting one. I don't, I'm not like a fan of like the dinosaurs or like, I feel like when it comes to like a show or a movie that has like an animal like that, oh, it's not an animal, obviously, or a creature or whatever, I don't usually generally go for those. Like, even back when I was getting the OG, um, game of thrones pops like i wasn't a big fan of the dragon pops as much like i have one of the ride dragons with uh you know khaleesi riding the dragon i think is it that yeah i think i have that one i think i have the night king riding dragon so a lot i have two i have the john snow one that's so funny okay yeah it's funny (laughs) but like the standalone ones i wasn't like as excited for and it's the same thing like with the dinosaurs of like jurassic park it's like i don't know i just don't to me, I'm not like as excited for them, but this one looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, I really like this one, and you kind of like mentioned it. Like, this works when they do like some crazy random thing, like if they make them uh, like a metallic or this, like something that normally doesn't go. And I'm just like, why are they making this? Like, there's a reason mm-hmm. for this. And I feel like they should take this idea and apply this to other pops if they want to make variants. Yeah. Yeah, because something from the movie. Because this next one is just random to me because it should have just been this way to begin with. They just announced a new Haunted Mansion pop um, of The Bride, and this already exists. Just a common, not glow-in-the-dark. This is a Hot Tub exclusive. Came out a few years ago. Um, the movie's coming out 
which I know we're going to get probably a Funko Pop line for that. Like, this is not for that. This is strictly from the OG line from the theme park ride. I mean, I just, this pop is sick, but the original one should just be glow in the dark. Like, I don't, I also don't understand why this is coming out like a few years later. Yeah. I, exactly. I don't know what your opinion is on it, but. So, so really the only cool. difference is that it glows, right? Yeah. It's the same thing, but glow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, like you said, maybe because the movie's coming out, but it's not. It that looks version, sick. so it's like weird. I just like I don't get why this is coming out now, and I mean, we've talked about this in the past. Like this should have just been glow in the dark. Like the one yeah. I have should have just been glow in the dark. I mean, that makes sense, obviously, for that character and everything. So yeah, I don't know that it is an odd thing. That's like why, like now, that's the weird thing—the timing, you know. Yeah. Um, we have more on the facet line. So the Darth um, Darth Vader one came out. Yep. Officially, you know, a little while ago. Um, and then now we just got announced the Spider Man one is the next one. So I know. I think when we were looking into this, we thought that was Iron Man, right? Is that the silhouette that I think we mixed up? Yeah. I'm assuming because it ends up being Spider Man basically. Um, which you know we totally didn't think about (laughs) it, but like. That one's a pretty cool one. Uh, I think, like, the, the pose and everything, the color looks pretty cool. Uh, I wonder how long, like, if they're going to do just another set of three, like they kind of did last time, and then we're going to get more and continue for the rest of the year. I mean, there, there might be too yeah. many, but yeah. at least, you know, right now it's a halfway decent line. Like, it's not too over overwhelming, but this one I think is pretty cool. I mean, they, and they're kind of somewhat taking... I mean, I don't want to say like off characters because obviously Darth Vader would be one of the biggest like Star Wars characters because they went with Star Wars. Um, but like Black Panther, Spider Man, like, you know, it is a yeah. little bit less common, I guess. And then Minnie was one <laughs> over Mickey. So it was interesting that, you know, what we got and so far. Tinkerbell, I think, was the other one. And then we had the uh R2 D two, was that the first? Yep. One? That's all of them. So so that's all six so far, yeah. So so far, it's going to be interesting if they're going to come out with another batch. I feel like they should just we'll stop, see. even though I like yeah. them. We can't get this yeah. many. Yeah. But one, it's this is a rumor. We haven't got confirmation of it yet, but continuing with the Disney is the next item in the train. So we got, obviously, Walt. We then got Steamboat Willie, which is perfect. We then got Darth Vader and a TIE fighter, which even as a huge Star Wars fan, I thought that was a little odd. This mm-hmm. next one makes no sense. And I want to know. I don't think I saw I don't think I saw this. It's Miles Morales. Really? And like, hear me out because I love Miles Morales. But he has not appeared in even though Disney owns the merchandise rights to, to all Marvel characters, which I know sometimes gets confusing to people. He has not appeared in a Disney MCU movie. Like, mm-hmm. I know the comics Disney owns through Marvel, but, like, it's just super weird to be celebrating, like, the 100 years of this company, and that's the character you pick. <laughs> like, it just makes no sense. Like, I'm, like, shocked by that. But, But is it, like... Like the animated version? I mean, like there from, haven't even been the an image of it. I'm it? assuming it's going to look like a comic book version, which, I mean, is pretty accurate. I Like, yeah. the way he looks like in Spider-Verse or, like, the video game. Uh-huh. I just... It's pretty accurate, I feel like, from the sources that, like, Pop News is the one who said it. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, they're always right. So it's just wild to me. Yeah. Like that they went off the rails on that train. It is it is just like random. But I mean like now we know obviously we're getting a Marvel part of it. So like we know we are getting like a little bit of everything with this train because right when it went from just OG Disney into Star Wars, there was already kind of a, a weird turn. Um but you would think maybe the regular normal Spider Man, if they had to go with like that character. Like to me, it should have been. So it is, it is a bit weird. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, there's no way Disney really has input in this. I mean, Funko has a license. This is a Funko team. I'm sure if like Disney's people had any sort of input, they'd probably like, yeah, that's not the right one. Like I would have done Iron Man. Like 
he's the one that's like you know the spearhead of the whole marvel cinematic universe if we're like celebrating 100 years darth vader's an obvious choice like he is like the crown of star wars Mm -hmm. and like not to hate on miles because once again i love him i haven't got a chance to see the new spider-verse movie it's killing me that i haven't but it's like supposed to be called like the greatest animated movie of all time yeah um it's just i don't need to continue my rant i just was like whoa it's like the first time it's I like actually a random. It's definitely random. And when I saw the rumors, like the first time I was like, "These guys are not right," but like I feel like they're gonna be. Yeah, but it, it, I think the oddest part of it is, and I and I get it. Disney kind of spans more than just your general Disney cartoon that you may think of. Um, but like, why do a train? Like the whole train thing, like, is what's weird because there's no cohesiveness to the train. It's gonna be no. very very just out of nowhere and these like literally can then at that point you could just get one piece and it just be it looks fine yeah like you don't necessarily need to finish it versus where other trains or whatever that they've come out with have kind of a little bit more of that connection um yeah that's an odd one definitely odd uh another i guess we could stay with like marvel since you just mentioned it and also with like leaks uh so this was another leak the next bitty line is supposed to be marvel yeah uh so there was a leak of like a target uh inventory like page that we um i feel like we haven't seen this as much i feel like back in the day we would get target leaks like all the time like that was the biggest way to get like what's going to be coming out with inventory because it would be like a page and you would see target SKU numbers and stuff like that like i remember that like coming out a lot (laughs) i feel like recently it hasn't been as much um but now we're getting it and it says like Marvel, Biddy, you know, Biddy, Funko, Biddy. So we'll probably get an announcement soon, I'm assuming, um, and see kind of like what this line will be. It should be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, it will be interesting kind of how they take this one on, like what exactly aspect of Marvel do they go with? Because if they go like the DC route, um, DC route was pretty cool because they did there was the animated series and there was like OG comics. Then yeah. There was the old TV series. Like they were all mixed into that set, which I thought was actually pretty awesome because it was like an overall DC thing versus just like a very specific line. Um, so like with Marvel, like do they go with OG comics stuff to go with more MCU stuff? Like it's going to be, I mean, they have enough characters that they could just pick one, I guess you could say. Um, but I feel like it's going to be, if I had a guess, maybe just like OG comic stuff, I feel like they would go with. And then prob- just like, get yeah, a ton of characters. There's a lot of them, obviously. So you're probably right, but I like, I enjoyed the randomness of the DC ones. Yeah. And the Disney ones were that way. And I'm like, just like looking over here because I have my Star Wars ones. Like, they're only the original trilogy. Okay. They didn't put anything else in it, which I kind of wish they did, but it leads me to believe we'll probably get. Like a sequels one, a prequels one, and they probably will do that with Marvel. Then it's just interesting mm-hmm. they decided not to do that with um, DC because it seems like the Turtles ones will all kind of be. I know yeah, it's not the same, seem... but they all seem the same. Mm-hmm. And the Princess ones seem, I guess they're both different types of niches. It's not the same mm-hmm. apples to apples. But then I guess the Harry Potter one. That's expanded through all the books. Yeah. But it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah I guess we'll have to see what... Because um, I think even, like, the... The rumor picture had... I don't know if you remember off the top of your head. Um, I think it was, like, three, maybe, or four. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um that were like leaked in that like oh here we go so there was thor captain it says it's captain so i guess it could be captain marvel captain america i'm assuming it'd be captain america um oh okay here we go so maybe it's a little bit more than i thought so we got two different like pictures so there's the funko pop biddy marvel and then it says thor okay or cat and then one says captain it's cut off and then there's one that says Funko Biddy Pop the Avengers. 
classics. Okay. So again, these are like very chopped up page. So you're not getting like the full, like the fact that it's stored and it says four. Like it doesn't, like it looks like there's more words or whatever that are going to be after that, but can't tell. Yeah. And then one says the Avengers. So, so it's interesting. But I guess we'll see. Obviously, when we get more official, that's the whole point of a leak. Kind of sometimes it's just half yes. the story and you don't know what's going on with the rest. So, um, but yeah, definitely should be a pretty cool lineup. I'll, I'll, I'll be pretty excited for that. Another thing that was just recently announced, which, you know, isn't the big drop. So we got another soda um, from Invader Zim and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. Just a one-off, it's obviously a classic Nickelodeon show, and it looks kind of cool. Like the Chase and Common are worthy, I feel like, of wanting both of them if you're a fan of the show. But once again, it's kind of just like randomly we're getting a soda. It's not a big yeah. production. Like I used to like when you they announced a bunch of them. Like the Funko social media pages actually always had pretty sweet images. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like those are actually always the best like social posts they make in my opinion and yeah we just haven't really got any of them in a while yeah it has been kind of one-offs and that's another one that's kind of out there like and like you said i so i don't really i never really watched the the, the show or anything yeah, um either. i know that was one of the was that one of the nfts yep it was right? okay because yeah, i remember seeing that character uh so definitely a cool character a lot of people know i'm sure know it um, just even like even me not knowing the show, like I knew what it looked like just looking at them. I like I recognized it, you know. At yeah. least I knew it was uh, like one of those shows. Um. Uh. So we do have Fun Day stuff coming soon. We have SDCC stuff coming soon. Um. Obviously, there was like a a pretty big like rumored list, which we don't want to go into now. Uh, because we wanted to wait kind of a little bit more when it's like closer to, and when we, I'm sure we're gonna be talking about SDCC stuff. A yeah. lot going closer to the event. Uh, but there was like at least an announcement that the fun days was going to be themed camp fun days. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting because the last few years this has been a big thing. Uh, yeah, the whole theming and like what the event's gonna look like. Um, obviously it kind of somewhat ties into some of like the pops and things that it'll be, you know, around, but sometimes it's not hundred percent that because obviously like the Halloween style one wasn't only horror Halloween stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's more for that event and like what fun days itself will be, which obviously it gets you thinking of like, okay, what's this box going to look like? Like, is it going to be themed like a, you know, camping, like a type style box, you know, a fire, you know, like something like that. I'm sure they'll do. Um, And then like, what are these pops going to be, which not to go off topic, but like maybe one of these, which was leaked, that there was a Freddy as Ron Weasley. Like maybe that's one of them, and that's where that picture came from. Should be a pretty cool. I mean, that's a pretty sweet Freddy pop if it, if it is. Um, but the whole Camp Fun Days thing is awesome. And then I know we wanted to talk about uh, this year's like pricing. I guess it was an increase, yeah, from previous years. So like, like I think you said, Charlie, really well, like an extra hundred bucks or something. Yeah, around tickets. there, the give or take. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, yeah. but like they totally went up in price, which is yeah. kind of like crazy. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are like kind of wild by that. Like, Oh, that's insane. But, uh, I mean, they obviously know it's been pretty popular. They put a lot more, I feel like into these like side, like little yeah. events. Um, now that, you know, San Diego comic con has one and then your comic con has had one. So like, they seem like, they were kind of a shit show at first and how they, you know, ran. But I feel like maybe now they're kind of getting in control of it. But at the end of the day, they know that they're still making money and they're selling these tickets, even if it ends up not going as good as they wanted to. They got their money. So, like, they know what they're doing. And I'm sure they're going to continue to do, like, big events and, and make them pretty expensive. So people, you know, will spend. So, um, but, yeah, that was, like, kind of, I don't know what your thoughts are on, like, you know, the Camp Fun Days theme in general. And there's kind of, like, uh, yeah, I mean, I think expectations the theme, of the the, the theme is very, like, Californian, which is, like, I'm, like, fine with that. Yeah. Um, I think it'll kind of, ju- I don't think that'll, ref- ref- like, reflect the box. It's just going to be what they decide to do there. And we're just going to get our normal Freddy 
on like Comic Con esque type fandom pops, like that raw one, for example, if that is what that's from. It's funny when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's an NFT pop, like Harry Potter WB, <laughs> like, but it's probably definitely that hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah, definitely a leak for um, San Diego Comic Con, but. I mean, I am pumped for that. Like, I love getting the opportunity to be able to get those boxes like we've talked about in the past. And, you know, everyone the past few years since the pandemic, you get the opportunity to buy them at home. Mm -hmm. And I like that's honestly one of my most favorite things to collect in Funko. I love Freddy's. And like that is a true fun mystery box. And even those pops to this day, like I was just like looking at my Funko app the other day and like. My Mandalorian one has gone up. Like, if you're into value, like, those pops, like, they do increase over time. Like, they are good parts yeah. to have in your collection. My Batman one. And that was one of the ones that, when it first came out, it didn't really have too much value. Yep. And I was like, I don't care because I love Batman. I'm like, I'm going to keep it no matter what. But like you said, we're not super hardcore about that. But it is cool to know that something has more value over time. And it has. It has gone up. And they generally keep that. I think the only ones that never really move and they're always so low is like those generic freddies that'll drop for like a random holiday or something and they Correct. drop like a hundred million of them on on funko shop you know but like these numbered ones like for sure like we're clearly not in the same old age days where there was 28 piece counts and 50 yeah. piece counts and stuff like that um because that has not existed in a really long time but even a thousand piece count two thousand like things like that they 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 are out there and they're still you know pretty awesome pieces to have yeah so like all in all like, i'm super excited for that and i'm like anxious to know like when we can get yeah. the boxes yeah i think supposedly june so obviously we're in june now um we should be getting more news on san Diego comic-con i'm sure that's when we'll get more of these official like le- like the the list that we saw like leaked was enormous which is like crazy yes. packed with pops and sodas and some of them were ridiculously sick so hopefully when we start getting more official news on that and more details on fun days specifically i think it'll be uh, pretty exciting to see what uh, what what comes out of that um but i did you want to talk about the um i did want to mention this actually the anniversary one so i know we talked about it before but it did officially come out yeah and officially you had came... your thoughts on that so yeah officially came out and it's still sitting on funko shop because yeah. Uh, they can't fifty dollars right yeah they can't trick us anymore um and it's funny because like i actually really want that pop for my collection i feel like i'll ultimately just buy it off of ebay or um like whatnot or something Mm -hmm. because it'll be cheaper than the fifty dollars or this box will end up going on sale and maybe i'll get it like i really wanted that christmas one but i just held to my guns and like didn't get it and like i feel the same way with this one just because I like I hate saying that it's trash, but like I just don't want any of that. St- I don't need any of that stuff in my collection. It's nothing special. Yeah. Like it's a it's a I dump. Agree. Like everyone knows it now. Yeah, I agree. And it's like a a lot of like you're getting five pops. Like yeah, and like it could just be completely nothing you even enjoy. And it's interesting. Exactly. Like, like it's a weird. One. Um, what else? Anything else in the? I mean, I feel like that was the main stuff. I figure we can, you know, roll into the NFT drop that's yeah. going down. I know it's we obviously since we've last talked, we um we haven't gotten to talk about what happened with the Dark Knight drop, oh, which yeah. if you guys haven't already, we both put up videos. So you should go check those out. But that obviously that drop was hyped. Um they sold I mean, they sold out. It wasn't like ridiculously quick, but it was pretty quick. And 25, 26 minutes or so. And like the redeemables, like the major ones are holding their value. People are going nuts over them. It it felt like the old times with the NFTs. Like everyone collectively was hyped about this drop. Yeah. I mean, I know you're yeah. a huge fan, but you can you do you agree with to that? Yeah, yeah. I I think um for the most part, whether it was like true collecting people that were getting it or you know flippers you want to say because obviously we know they're out there and they get like 50 packs um just to sell them they're not buying 50 and opening 50 like they're literally just selling them um but even they obviously had the hype because even the pack prices now are 
upwards of 50 something to 60 dollars yeah. for like a premium pack and then like you know they're they're clearly more than like you know the price that they first came out and they're still kind of sitting around that range um because they were pretty exciting and it was uh i feel like this is the first grail in a long time that we that we have that's like sitting at a high value and it's still up there um i was looking back at some old old sets just to kind of see like where things were or if i wanted to just buy a legendary or buy yeah. a, a grail or something to kind of get an idea of where that price point is and some of them are like 100 or less and as a grail which is interesting because you're like the grail should have been the one that's like you know way more but to me when the grail's over 300 400 which is like where you know this one's sitting right now like that makes sense like that's like okay Agreed. that there's a 0. 0.02 whatever percent chance like that should be an actual grail and the Harvey Dent one obviously really is. Um, but yeah, like Charlie said, we have put up videos. We opened up packs. I was able to get a good amount of packs. And then this is the first set of any of the ones <laughs> that have dropped that I then went back and started buying more packs. Like I bought a couple of standard packs randomly. I bought a premium pack. Like I spent a lot. Like I could definitely got some more <laughs> packs and did not pull. Like I was able to get a royalty out of it. So that was good. Um, but did not pull another redeemable from those extra packs. So like that aspect was not good. And I seen people buying and pulling. I know your cousin would, every time yeah, he bought a I pack, mean, he pulled a redeemable. Like it was ridiculous. It's insane. Like, like I'll give Anthony a nuts. shout out. He's a huge fan of ours. I mean, the dude, like he's in the NFTs, but really only ever buys the ones that he definitely wants um, and misses out on a lot of drops just because he's, he's working, yada, yada, yada. And, the dude got two packs and legitimately pulled three redeemables, one being the grail. Then he's, you know, he, he was really into the set just like us. He went on the aftermarket, bought another one, pulled another Harvey. Yeah. Pulled another scarecrow. Like he just was like, on I've me and Megs have had some pretty epic runs. I don't know anyone personally that has ever bought like X amount of packs and they're all fire. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like crazy. A handful of packs, literally just a handful. Yeah. Um. So definitely was a great job, but uh, that then now leads into like obviously the hype has been big. That obviously was another one on that list. Remember that original list yeah. that we saw that we're like, okay, these are gonna be coming out, and then we they skipped over and ended up doing was it Hanna April Barbera? Fool. No, no, yeah, Hanna Barbera. Yeah, like the second wave. Um, April Fools was on that list, so we were yep. like, okay, this is definitely got to be real. And then we got Dark Knight, which is another one on the list. And even before that, we're like, all right, so if they're going to go with this list again, you know, we have the It one, obviously, which is still out there. We have Power, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Um, we have Rick and Morty. And yep. then we have Adventure Time. And the official drop is going to be Adventure Time. I really know nothing about this because I, like, I know what it is. And I've seen pops of it. I've seen merchandise of it all the time. And I know it's like this weird yep. cartoon or whatever. I don't know the characters or anything like that. Even like when I was looking at the set and the redeemables, like they look just like them, but like I think they don't look great. I guess they're just the card the character itself aren't ones with a lot of detail. So they couldn't really put much yep. detail into the pops because they had to look like them. Um, but the royalty does look kind of cool. I thought the royalty was the one that I was like, all right, that's pretty awesome. Like him wearing like <laughs> yeah. the costume almost, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this won't be one I'm going to go after. I'm not going to really get any packs, even just to try, because it's not like really my jam. Um, obviously, if the it one comes out, that's definitely something I'm going to be going after. Um, even Rick and Morty, not a big fan of Powerpuff Girls. Probably, I probably won't go after any of those. So I'm hoping that we get just kind of a one-off random one, too, that I will like. Or maybe a series two of something that came out that we were fans of. Um, but I do want them to go back to like a like an all Freddy style drop. I do Me too. think we're missing one of those. So I don't know if we'll get something like that again. Um, because Which I guess like... so technically the April Fool's was one. That's true. That was very small. But very but small, yeah. very limited. But I agree with you. Like, we need more of those. We still need, like, a max token head. Like, I don't yeah, understand why we're though. not getting anything. Like, dude, the community would go nuts over that, I think, if we got just him. And, like, you can have Freddy in there. Um, because the only form we have in pop at all is the April Fools, and he's just like a little one that Freddie's holding. Mm -hmm. Um, but to go along the lines of what 
you know, this drop, in my opinion, I'm same page as you. Like, I know the show, but like, it's what I I was never actually really like a Cartoon Network person. Like, I'm yeah. like was Nickelodeon and Disney. Like, so like this doesn't excite me. Like the Rick and Morty one actually will. Like, I feel like that's like the only Cartoon Network show that like I love. Um, I don't. E- I think this will be actually the first drop that I don't even try to go for. I may yeah. I may log in and like try to get a standard pack just to like make a video and see if i can pull something but even that like and the standard packs are the ones that go super quickly yeah um but it's like if i pull something from adventure time like that's just trade bait for dark knight because i didn't do good on that um but yeah i'm not excited but it seems like a lot of people in the community are like it's got a fan base yeah, so this this will sell out pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, so so I think you know MTs are still around, they're still still back to being pretty popular, and I think they will continue to be. So I guess we'll see kind of how this drops goes, and then what will be next because uh, we had that little bit of a gap where we didn't really have anything come out for a long time, and then now we're back to kind of getting yeah. them every other couple of weeks. So. Um, I guess we'll see in another week or so what will be next. Um, but let us know what you guys think of, obviously, that drop. Are you guys excited for it? And any of the stuff that came out or was announced that we talked about, um, you know, what are your thoughts on uh, the Fun Day stuff and for San Diego Comic-Con, once we get some of those rumors swirling and everything. And I know we talked about a bunch of other things, too. So definitely make sure to comment. Let us know. Um, we haven't as many people like saying much, so definitely comment on the video because you know we, we really yeah. like seeing that. We like responding to you guys, um, on what your thoughts are. Uh, but yeah, Charlie, you can kind of close us out, yeah, Let definitely. Know. Just to reiterate what makes that, please comment. Like, yeah, we haven't been getting as many comments as usual, and we do like, um, not only responding, but that also helps us. So if you could please like our videos as well. And hit that notification bell so you know when new stuff comes out. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And then, obviously, you can follow us up on Instagram, at Collector Chatter. And then also, at Pop underscore Migs and at Collector underscore Charlie. And then on the podcast platforms, anywhere a pos- podcast is, we're there. And most of those platforms have a way of following or their version of subscribing. So if you could follow us on there so you do know when new drops come out. You know, we try to keep to schedule, but life happens. So some days... We don't do an episode. Some days we do one on the opposite day that we normally would. So just so you guys all know when they're coming out because Mm -hmm. we don't want you to miss the content and we're going to keep coming out with some shorts to try to just freshen up the channel as well. But, you know, everyone, thank you so much for your, obviously your continued support and remember collecting is the way. And until the next episode later. Bye everyone.